The next book I am talking about is a romance novel. It is called The Lady's Guide to Celestial Mechanics by Olivia Waite. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but in the past few months, I forgot how to read and so could not read a single book. And so any book that like held my attention and made me finish the whole book, I was like, wow, this must be the best book ever written. Um, and one of the things about romance novels is, you know, it's guaranteed to have a happy ending, which is what a lot of people need right now. Um, this one, what I like about Olivia Waite's writing specifically, so she has uh, Lady's Guide to Celestial Mechanics and The Care and Feeding of Waspish Widows, which is the sequel. Um, she goes not just into the relationship, but each character tends to have one thing that they're like super interested in. So this one is a romance between Lucy, who is an astronomer, um, and her patroness, Catherine uh, St. Day. So her, she is the Countess of Moth. And the Countess of Moth is like, I need an astronomer to translate this really complicated French book. Um, do you know anyone? Because Lucy's dad was an astronomer. And Lucy is like, I know somebody. I'm going to do this. And they have to fight against like the patriarchal structures of science and everything. Um, and also, so it does a lot with astronomy. And also then Catherine St. Day gets really in, is really into embroidery. So you get to learn a lot about that, which is really cool. Um, if you know anybody who likes to embroider, this would be a great book to like pair with I don't know, a gift card to a craft store or like embroidery stuff or anything like that. Um, and then the sequel, it, it's about printing and bees, which is really cool. Who doesn't love bees? Um, 